Hello YouTube, here we are at the washer and dryer lab doing an experiment. So I came across some another very interesting effect. So here's the schematic. So we have the tried and true jewel thief uh, circuit with 2 and 5630 transistor, a bifiller coil wound on this uh, rather large uh, toroid made out of two halves. And um, and then so we have the first layer is by filler 23 gauge and 26 gauge wire and then on top of that we have three layers of um, 20 gauge wire and one ter one end of the wire is terminated in my house ground up there and the other end goes to an arrangement of coils so these coils are all in shunt uh, C designates clockwise wound, A designates anti-clockwise wound and uh, they're connected right there to each other and right there so they're, they're basically shorted out with themselves and uh, so ag again the single wire goes to this arrangement of coils and then we're going to attach different things to these coils and we'll see the, uh, the effects okay so here we go it's r currently running this here is a 5 watt uh, LED light bulb so I'm going to try to touch touching this light bulb to uh, one of the leads let's, see. Okay, let's try this one as you can see it does light up as you can see with just a single single lead being pressed Let's see, okay. Let's turn off the light so you can see this better. Okay. Okay. So we're just we just have a single lead power transmission going on. Let's try a different light bulb. So here we go. Here's a, here's a five. Um, uh, I'm sorry. This is a 13 watt fluorescent light bulb. As you can see, it lights up. Just a single lead going to the light bulb. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I found that rather curious. Again, all these coils are in front and capacitors are in series. And I'm using uh, I believe 450 volt capacitors. So capacitors are rather large. Again, just a single single lead lighting this uh, 13 watt light bulb. And our power supply is 5.9 volts at 400 milliamp my standard um, power supply that I use in all my videos and um, let's see this is another light bulb let's see if we can get it to light up as well Anyway, I found this rather curious, and I believe this relates to longitudinal electric waves or scalar waves. But um, I used 30 gauge wire on these coils, and uh, I, I actually I think there's a better way of doing it. Is um, see, you want to either basket wind these or use um, wire with uh, high impedance. So I think there's parasitic capacitance in, be in between the windings because I wound it so tightly. So I, I just have to try different uh, wire, and um, I think this is rather interesting phenomenon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.